Hey everybody, here with Morgan again. He's right here. He had to push a button. Yeah. Uh, hey guys, Mike from Morgan's Vaping Reviews with uh, Ken. Still got my beard. <laughs> okay, still, that's... Still got it. That's it's right good. here. <laughs> this is a juice review. We just did our little intro for the uh, for the giveaway. If you haven't seen it, check out the other video. If you want to win a Sigali 75 watt temperature control. <laughs> You're going to work for it. And it's, we're going to make it fun. So yeah, check that video out. We're doing a... Oh, she called the website up. We're doing a review on... Oh, I got it right here. High Park, right? Moshi. First of all, really quick, I've got their entire line. Yeah, we're going to start with this one. High Park. Yeah. Uh, I have their entire line. Uh, I'm not going to do them... It's pretty late now. I'm not going to stay here at Ken's and, and do them all one after the other. <laughs> but I will be doing uh, the entire line. And of course, like I always do, I'll, up, I'll upload each flavor. And when the final flavor is done, I'll create a... Quads on a velocity. I'll create a playlist. <laughs> and then uh, put it all together in a playlist. Now, really quick, uh, I spoke to the lady, uh, one of the uh, PRs for uh, Moshi Vapes. Really nice girl, actually. I, when I first seen her message on Facebook, I thought she was like one of those vape models. She's fucking gorgeous. But anyways, uh, Moshi Cloud Edition. That's what she sent, and there is six. I've got all six flavors. We are going to be doing one tonight, and I will upload this one, and then uh, when they're all done, I'll put it all together in a... This, this one's one. High Park. I don't know if you can see that. Stupid-ass bottles. Really quick, uh, these bottles, they're, they're not, it's not a black label. They're actually like a, like a smoked glass of solid black with a nice classy gold kind you sure of it's not a label? No, it's not a label. Are... Either way, they're pretty high end bottles. They're really fancy bottles. My only complaint about the bottles. No, that's not a label. Which has nothing to do with the product. The the hole is so tiny that No, it's because the dropper is so fucking retardedly huge. Or it could be the dropper being so fat. When you go to put it back in, you take it out, you drip it into your dripper, and when you go to put it back in, it you all splinters over it, the it, side. It, yeah, it tends to spill over the side when the dropper runs down the side of it. So you have to be careful when when you're putting your dropper in and out. Aside from that, uh, let's go on with the review. Which one are we doing? High park. And where's the flavor description? You've got uh, it up there. A smoothie of a vape. High Park is a combination of strawberry and banana. Each new hit somehow brings a stronger berry intensity, but the distinct banana undertones take over on the exhale and linger on the palate. Okay, and, and really quick, neither one of us. Neither, have, yeah. We have, I was just gonna, yeah. yeah. We haven't tried this. All we've done is smelt it, and we decided well, I did, I that's a good one to start with. Yet. Oh, okay. So I picked this one. Yeah. Oh, nice. Let's hope it's not a bomb. Can't have that for the first review. I just. Here, you want to do a taste test? Yeah, I want to just try. I've got Here, a little give bit me of. Hand. Come on! What are you playing? Oh, you I got it. Yeah. <laughs> I taste uh, banana. Did right you away. taste it? No. Okay. I'm not going to. <laughs> when I when I <laughs> when I taste it, uh, we're gonna do a smell test. When I taste it, the first thing I taste is banana, right out of the yeah. gate. I gotta uh, load up these quads though. There's a shit load of cotton in it's there. It's a very strong banana when I taste it, and then I taste a little bit of strawberry afterwards. Uh, this thing with quads on it drinks juice like a hobo that just won the lottery. Okay, on the flavor description it says strawberry and banana. Uh, but when I tasted it off my hand, I tasted banana first. You smell the strawberry, definitely. And strawberry and banana. It smells like a, it smells like um, like a Dairy Queen Sunday, like a or Dairy Queen um, banana yeah, split. I smell banana split. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it smells like you're walking in Dairy Queen. Well, it smells pretty nice. Yeah. Okay, so I smell uh, strawberry and banana. Uh, smooth, a smoothie of a vape. Strawberry, banana. Berry intensity, distinct banana undertones. Okay. That's weird, because when I tasted it, I tasted mostly mainly banana, just with a little hair uh, of, of strawberry. But this one here is more... When you smell it, you smell a lot of strawberry too. It smells really good. It's pretty dry, so I'll drip it. 
What what's the viscosity on this one? Did it say? Uh, they're eighty twenty, I believe. Cloud edition. It's the cloud edition. <laughs> yeah, this isn't. This is the testers, because it doesn't have. Oh yeah, on the website uh, they're sold out right now, so there was no flavor description. So we went to their little tester one. But this is a uh, it's a it's a Max VG juice, their cloud edition. I don't know the exact percentage. Does it say on the bottle? There's no way I'm gonna be able to read that. I think it does, yeah. No, three MG. Oh here, I got the. Uh... Oh yeah, eighty twenty. Eighty twenty. Yeah, it says right on the bottle, eighty twenty. Okay, and at the beginning of the video you heard me mention how Do not swallow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> at, at the at the beginning of the video, you heard me mention how it doesn't, uh, the bottles leak a little bit. Uh, just, just a little. They sent me this card <laughs> with their line. That's just a little, but just a little bit of leakage. You, you can see how it leaked. Just, just a little bit. So, in, in the package when I got it, I had to dry them all off. I don't know if, that's just shipping, you know what I mean? I mean, Pure Later, UPS, they, they kick the shit out of their packages. But, the bottles are attractive. I would say that if you buy it, throw it into a unicorn bottle or something because the bottles they tend to be yeah definitely put it in your own bottle yeah 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 if you over tighten it it's gonna end up leaking if it's not tight enough it'll leak but aside from that I mean uh, they sent me a nice little card and uh, team Moshi with a uh, cheers happy vaping and a little heart and uh, I mean really beautiful girl that works on the PR side of, of Moshi vape okay uh, let's get when I smell it, it smells good, and I can kind of taste the banana. I smell mostly strawberry when I smell it, and just like a little tiny hint of banana. It smells like you got strawberries in front of you, and over in the other room there's banana bread in the oven or something, because you smell a little bit of banana with mostly strawberries. But when I taste it on my hand, I tasted banana first, which is kind of weird. To me, it smells like you're walking in Dairy Queen. It's not bad. The flavor's not, I don't find the flavor's really there though. It's subtle, right? Yes. Uh, I would say it's a, it's, if you want like an in-your-face banana or an in-your-face strawberry, no. But this it, isn't it. It's like a, it's a mild strawberry. It's really it neat actually. Cool, yeah, when you when you inhale it, I taste. It's, it's really weird. I don't know how to explain it. I don't know the taste on inhale, but every time I exhale, like the taste gets better and better. When, when, when I inhale it, I taste a little bit of strawberry and a little bit of strawberry mixed with banana when I exhale. It's kind of weird. It's nice. I like it. It's, it's it's not over in your face flavor. It's just. Look at this sucker leaking already. And we it's leaking even, already. Yeah. This is a, this is one of the other ones, and we haven't even. They haven't even touched it. It's it's just like it's all derpy and gooing everywhere. Yeah, it's just uh, I it's either the the hole in the bottle is way too small or or the drippers like he said like Ken said was too wide. It's almost like when you, when you take it out and you drip it and when you go to put it back in you have to like be perfectly lined up like you gotta be like a fucking heart surgeon. I'll go up close. It's almost like when you take it out. Spring and then you put it in, it's just going to slide over the side. You have to literally keep it perfectly centered, oh so gently when you when you come down. What was that stupid game with the tweezers? Operation. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I got a little rag here. Oh, you come prepared, don't you? I got everything in my little case. I don't need a rag, I just wipe it on my shorts. Yeah, I do that too. I'm not a fancy guy. But, uh... Okay, back to the review. Which one is this? All I can remember is the nacho shirt. <laughs> the what? The nacho shirt. Nacho shirt? The shirt you were eating nachos in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Ken comes over to the house, and he's parked outside, and I was having this a... This guy comes walking out, and he's standing on the steps, like, probably 75 feet away, and I'm like, what in the fuck happened to you? <laughs> it's covered. <laughs> From fucking neck down in nachos. No, it wasn't that bad. <laughs> fucking rights it was. First, first of all, he mentions the nacho shirt. It's funny because 
I uploaded a small video because my daughter, she made one tray of nachos and I made the other tray of nachos and then the family decided which ones were better and mine won. Uh, but either way, uh, on a side note, I, I put, I don't know if you saw it, yeah. I put a small video showing the our nachos. But it was about three hours after that video that Ken stops by and I go outside and, <laughs> and I had salsa. It wasn't, no, it was just... I had dropped some salsa on my shirt, but I wasn't going nowhere. Dude, so it looked like you were swimming in the nacho tray. I was playing that new golf game. Uh, it's not Tiger Woods because he fucked around on his wife, so EA Sports dropped with like a bad habit. It's uh, it's the new one. The new. Here, here, it, here you can tell him right here. It's loaded what's it up, called? ready to go, ready to play golf. Come on, switch. There we go. That's what everybody says. Rory McIlroy. Rory McIlroy. Yeah, Rory McHugh. I don't. Really, I, I don't watch golf in real life. EA Sports Rory PGA Tour. <laughs> yeah, so I don't watch golf in real life, but I like the game, and I got that new Rory McIlroy game, and I was playing that after eating my nachos, and after the movie was done, and I had salsa all over me. So when I walked out to say hello to Ken, he's like, "What the fuck happened?" Anyways, it looked like he was doing the breaststroke in the fucking tub of nachos. <laughs> High Park. This is a. Uh, 8020 uh 3MG. Well, you know what? I gotta say something here. Oh, remember though. Jim? I, I told you what happened with Jim. Oh Jim. Shabai <laughs> or Shabai or Shithead or whatever the hell you wanna call yourself. He just jumped on me and Jay on that one. Dude, I sent him a message like three months ago to buy something off him. Really? Yeah, still don't have it. Well he's been good when I've bought something I've got it the same day. So maybe well, he must like you. I don't think maybe, he likes maybe. me. Maybe Maybe he likes me and he doesn't like I don't know. Uh, probably doesn't like me. Yeah. So <laughs> I've been told I'm an asshole. No. Uh-uh. No, I no. No, I no. I've never heard that ever. No. Uh, I get hundreds, thousands of messages asking me about where is Ken? <laughs> <laughs> I I've I honestly I've I've got at least twenty or thirty emails asking when you're gonna do another review. That brings me to uh No, well, we had a uh, moving and and just everything that was going on at, at that point in time. Come this way, man. Uh, renovations at the shop I'm working at. It was just it, oh, just brutal, brutal, brutal couple of months. So everything settled down and calmed down now. So on a side note, I just want to say hello to uh, Paul Navard. Hey, Paul. Uh, I showed uh, Ken some of your messages, and uh, he's probably one of your biggest fans. He's he's asked me when's Ken coming back. Did you guys have a falling out? Uh, yeah, so Paul Navarro is a really cool shit. I've spoken to him lots on Facebook. Yeah, it was a falling out. He's a bigger ass than I am. <laughs> I've spoken to Paul lots on Facebook, and uh, he's uh, it's not just about the YouTube channel. He'll call, uh, he'll send a message, and he'll give me advice, or he'll say, oh, try this or do this. And really decent guy, nice to talk to, very down to earth. Uh, you know what I'll do? I'll put a link to Paul Navarro's Facebook page in the description below. Uh, send him a message. Everybody watching, send him a message. Shoot Say the hi. shit with him. Hey, hey, Paul. He's into vaping. He knows a lot about it. Very nice guy. Very decent guy. And no, 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 no. This one stays here. Which one's that? Hi, Park. Oh, you're keeping this one. Yeah. <laughs> so, and back to this really quick. Like I said, but the first couple of the first couple of times I smoked it, vaped it. You vaped it. <laughs> Anyways. It couldn't really taste the flavor, but sitting here talking and, and keep chugging away on it, it, you know what? It tastes really damn good. And maybe you didn't taste the flavor because you went... I picked up some donuts on the way here and... Yeah, love fucking donuts. Apple fritters. Apple fritters are my favorite. Are his favorite donuts. But the, uh, they have a new one now. You brought that apple pie one? It's apple fritter. You gotta fritter. have this. It's an apple fritter. It's got apple pie filling in yeah, it. It's called an apple pie... Fritter or something? Yeah, and it's got crumble on the outside. It's amazing. So he was fucking downing those like like they were fucking You Timbits. only brought one. No, but there's other donuts and he's eating them like yeah. Timbits. Hey, we're not even gonna we're them. not even gonna start with the chocolate dip the asshole. <laughs> okay. okay. Let's stick to the review. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> if you wanna start on donuts. Leave that one alone. Yes. That's for another time. But that could be why he didn't taste it as much. Then it's like that. Like in life, if you eat something that's very sweet and then the second you're done you pick up your vape. I mean but now we've been talking a while. He's yeah, actually, this is a. I'm really impressed. This is a really, really nice juice. Oh, I forgot my hot coffee. So for me, when I when I inhale it, I taste uh, 
a lot of strawberry. Not a lot of. It's not. It's not in your face like a ripe strawberry. I taste a smooth. Uh, and the fact that I don't have to take another vape to tell you, it's. It, it, it's a pretty quality juice. I taste. It's a very. It's a coffee vaping juice. It's very smooth strawberry, like a creamy strawberry. Yep. Tastes good after coffee. Tastes good after coffee. Tastes great after coffee. But it's like a, like a, for, for all you people that drink coffee. If you don't drink coffee. Hey, you're, you're a fucking idiot if you don't drink coffee. I'm sorry. Uh, if you don't drink coffee, unsubscribe to the channel because I don't... It, there's something wrong with you if you don't drink coffee. Yeah. yeah. Seriously. It, off topic, I'll be at work and we'll have some new guy that just got hired. And on the way to the job site, I'll stop for a morning coffee. And then he'll... Oh, you want a coffee? I don't drink coffee. I'm like... Get the fuck out I'll of go room. to my supervisor the next day and say, I don't want that fucking guy in my truck. Like, I don't know, it's just, it's not normal. If you're a fucking adult and you don't have a coffee in, I'm so glad in the I morning... I'm so fucking work with you, man. Holy <laughs> fuck. If you don't have a coffee in the morning to start your day, I, I, you got some issues. Anyways. I, I do have to say, though, the, uh, I, I just want to say this, though, because... You gotta I, come this way more. I, I, oh. uh, I keep getting asked every day at work. We have a, we have our sh uh, shop kid at work, and... You know what, great kid. Ask me every day. When are you gonna do reviews with Mike again? When are you gonna he watches religiously, okay? He's uh, Chris is the one that helped us move. He's got that Hitler hairdo. <laughs> yeah, this fucking guy. <laughs> I'm outside Tim Horton's having a coffee and Ken introduces me to him and he's like, Oh I see your videos, uh, nice to meet you and I looked at him, I swear to fuck, he he looks like Hitler. And if you look that much like Hitler, considering he's not a popular guy, maybe change your fucking hairdo. Oh man! But anyways, Chris, I'm back. I'm doing him again. Just yeah. You know. Hey, Chris, how you doing? <laughs> Get a fucking haircut. Do something. Now listen really quick. To the people at Moshi Vape, I have five other flavors. I promise. With the other reviews, I'm, I'll stay more on topic and I'll be more on point. This is my first review I've done with Ken in well over almost two months. You know what though? And that's they probably can, why we're rambling a they, bit. They can't complain because they got a damn good review on this. Because the whole time we've been talking and vaping on this. Yeah. The only bad thing we've had to say about it is the crap ass leaky bottles. Yeah. But no, no, no. I'm just saying uh, the other five juices I'll stay more on topic with. Probably uh, not. But, or maybe not. <laughs> I'll try to. But uh, that's the best you're going to far As far as this goes, uh, we drifted off topic a bit. And that's because it's my first review with Canon. When have we never drifted off topic? I don't know. I don't know. We always drift on top. Right? But uh, to sum this one up, when I inhale it, I get a, a very creamy kind of strawberry. When I exhale, I get a little bit of strawberry with a hint of banana. But it's not a ripe strawberry. It's more like a smooth, creamy kind of strawberry hint, like a hint of strawberry with banana. Yeah, it's really good. I, I quite enjoy it. Stop trying to take it back. I'm keeping that one. So that's High Park by Moshi Vape. Uh, trash or stash for you? I was gonna ask. You still doing trash or stash? Oh fuck yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely stash. That's my thing now. Yeah, definitely. Okay, Ken says definitely stash. Uh, if this is gonna be in my private stash, I'll have to order a bottle because this one is gonna stay with Ken. He loves it. So, uh, for me, trash or stash. I would say if you have this in your private stash, you will not regret it. It's a it's a good juice. It, it's well done. And so far, I'm impressed, Moshi. So if you have any more flavors that you didn't send, send them. I would like to try them. No, these are. This is their cloud edition. I got. I know, them but six. they have ones that aren't cloud edition. Yeah. So send them on. We'll we'll review them. So Moshi Vapes Cloud Edition High Park. This is something you would want in yeah. your in your private stash. If you like banana or strawberry, you're going to be happy with it. It's just a. It's a nice vape. Nice Check. subtle, and just good vape. Yeah. So it's a decent company with a real beautiful lady that works for them. Like. Stop it now. Hey. She's hot. I seen a message of her and I'm like, whoa, and just fell in love right there. So Moshi Vapes, good juice. Oh, there you go, love over the internet, dude. <laughs> See how that works out for you. You guys have a good night.